Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be stuffing my new home binder. I decided that I needed to have one um, just so that I won't get any unexpected expenses. Now, I'm not saying that before I'm able to um, completely stuff my home binder. Right now I'm just stuffing cash. I don't have a set amount that I'm gonna be stuffing for each envelope. Not saying that there's nothing that's gonna happen because like I said, even with a new house, home inspection, something still can break something still can break you can buy something straight from the store take it home and then the junk don't even work and then you have to re return it so basically having a sinking funds and starting one is a great way to kind of even if you only have a little bit of cash stashed into your sinking funds for like a home binder or whatever um at least you have some money to put towards that expense so by starting is a good thing so just just even putting $20 and if something costs hundred dollars to fix hey that's 20 less dollars that you have to have to fix that item so you only have to add 80 okay all right so let's go ahead and let's see how much cash we are going to be stuffing this is what I am paying myself for my side hustle business um, usually I'll put some in my personal envelope when I was doing my budget a while ago but I just felt like because I really do need to start saving for home expenses um, I felt like I should go ahead and just put this amount and start my binder so we are going to be stuffing $450 so let's go ahead and make sure that's what we have and has everybody been getting like buckets I'm talking about like bucket 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 of rain it has rained like three or four days like i'm talking about heavy rains heavy rains all right so we got 50 150 what? why is my money all upside down did i put this in here like this let's see let's go through those make sure it's all one i think it's just the 50s and the ones were upside down all right, so let's try this again. So we have 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, for two, for three, for four, for five, for six, for seven, for eight, for nine, 50. All right, so we have 450. And oh, like I was saying about the rain, yeah, it has been seriously raining a whole lot like a lot of the areas where we're at has been flooding and we haven't had any flooding where we live so thank god for that um but yeah it's been like um super flooding and at what time we have a i think at one today the fire department is supposed to be coming to our house to install alarm systems not alarm systems what are we talking about not alarm systems they don't do that um smoke detector so i don't know if it's in everybody's state but i know that in our state that if you call the fire department um they will come in and install smoke detectors in your house for free and they will make sure that they're installed correctly and that they're actually working correctly so i mean that is like a really good thing for them to actually come and do that basically i just had to call um the number that we have on our city um page and then she took my information gave it to the closest fire department to me and then after that they called and they said hey what time is good for you this works for us and then we just kind of went back and forth so that is something that i thought was pretty awesome because i mean i know smoke detectors can be kind of like oh that's easy simple but it's a little bit better when you get the actual fire department to put it in and then also a car seats too because I, I sure did go down there and got my son um car seat put in by the fire department all right so i am going to be using my sinking funds um breakdown sheet here so um this is just an extra cash stuffing so this isn't anything for my paycheck budget so that's why i did it on this um sheet now for the amounts left over we don't have anything left over because we are pretty much basically starting this um from the beginning and everybody has been asking because i did show you guys on my instagram and i know you guys say don't forget about you guys that don't have instagram so i am working on a schedule to put like a lot of stuff on my youtube shorts and things and community so i will remember to do that all right so um these are just envelopes they got like cute little valium inserts and i'm going to make them well you can just switch them and swap them out so these are 
pretty much like just changeable ones and that's I will be having them on my website and then also for customization too. I'm going to be explaining right. to you guys why I'm doing um, singing funds for the categories that I have and maybe you can kind of say hey that's a good idea let's go ahead and do that for us okay so we're going to do floors and carpets okay so we do have carpet in the house it's like older carpet we're going to do $70 so we'll do 150 120 and we do actually have that but Aiden is crawling on the floor upstairs I'm not sure I don't know if he's break dancing or what but he's doing a lot all right so um yeah so we're gonna do $70 in there. And the carpets are older, but they are well kept. So, but that could also be for like cleaning the carpets too, or if we want to get them replaced. So we are adding $70. So the balance is going to be $70. And I was actually going to put zero. Y'all, I have the room that's in the bottom of the house for my office craft space. So I think I am pretty much under Aiden's bedroom. <laughs> which I didn't think about that, but like I said, as long as he's having fun, that's all that matters to me. All right, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit. All right, so for, this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna slide this over here. So we did some quick um, <laughs> rearranging here, so you guys can see. And um, so next we have septic plumbing. Okay, so for our water bill, we don't have sewage because we have a septic tank it's weird because it's in the city but it has a septic i have never had a septic tank i didn't realize what you had to do so i had to do some research on it but the septic tank you have to get it pumped some people say they pump it two years some people say they pump it like 10 years five years but we um are going to have to get our septic tank pumped just to make sure we know where to start the maintenance and make sure that we keep up with it on our side so um and also i did plumbing and yes i did leave off the g i said plumbing <laughs> so i did that i bet you was like you can't spell plumbing all right so for that we are going to do a hundred dollars now i do have an appointment for um them to do 50 100 the septic so just because it's not to the i think it's going to be like 400 bucks to get it pumped but you don't have to do it till years after um so i am going to just stuff some in here so that when it is time to um for my appointment date i'll just take the money out of here and then i'll just add to it from my savings so that'll make it to um the i think it's like 425 425 or 475 i think that's how much it is so that'll make it have eighty dollars. I mean, not eighty, a hundred. I keep saying eighty. Okay. So next is HVAC. Now our HVAC is two years old. Um, I don't think anything will happen to it soon. But like I said, you always want to make sure that you um, pretty much save for just in case if you need to um, charge it um, or if you need like a certain piece that fails on it, so you'll have something saved for. You know, because HVACs can be pretty expensive. All right, so we are going to be adding $20 to that. So we're going to do one $20 bill. All right, so we got 20. And so we should have 20 in there. All right, so lawn and yard. Okay, so our lawn, it has this crazy grass. I think it's like Bermuda grass. It's super soft. I've never heard of any grass of that <laughs> until I moved here, but it doesn't have any weeds or anything like that because my old house, they had like dandelions, weeds and all that stuff. But I'm just um, keeping a envelope because I think you have to treat it or put some grass weed killer or something on it. I'm going to have to go to Home Depot or go to Lowe's to figure this out <laughs> or Google. But I want to make sure that we try to keep the lawn like cut and keep the lawn pretty much smooth and everything like that how it is because it is really pretty so um like i said some of these expenses are things that i didn't have at the old house so that's why i said i'm gonna have a binder just to make sure that i am good and that <laughs> these things don't catch me off guard because it took me a little bit to kind of sit down and figure out like okay i need this i need that i need this so i did make a list and then i kind of scratch things off and say no i don't really need that but yeah so next we have 40 dollars for lawn and so that is forty dollars there and y'all see me do 400 which is not what we need for there so that's 
that's forty dollars all right so lawn and yard so we're going to actually do um two twenties so we got two twenties all right there's my aunt okay so next we have countertops we have older countertops in our house they're like mint green i did do one of my instagram reels with it it's very pretty mint green but it needs to be updated because like a lot of these houses you get they're like older but they have like lots of room and they're very they're very nice but sometimes the kitchen isn't updated and that's something that you have to do it's not a the kitchen is not a deal breaker for me because you can always do something to it so it's kind of like putting on lipstick um so yeah so that's why i'm like it's okay so we'll save everything is pretty much nice and neat and nothing's like broken chipped or anything so I'm not in a big, 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 big rush to do countertops or whatever, whatnot, and the appliances work. So I'm just going to save, take my time, do what I need to do, and not rush. <laughs> so it's $30. So we're going to do a 20 and a 10 because, like I said, some of the things like you want to change in your house, 20, 30. But if it's working for you and it's not like causing you like trouble, leaking, or anything like that, you can just pretty much save for it and just wait until you have the money or whatever you want to do now riding more the grass is a little bit well not the grass but the lawn is a little bit um, longer so kind of want to say for riding more right now we do have a push more but push more is it works so it's not something that we need to go and get in debt and buy like a three thousand dollar ride more we can just pretty much try to save for as much as we can for it and then also we can also look on like the facebook yard sale page marketplace to see if we can find something used because we do look for stuff like that um if we can find like used furniture and stuff like that but sometimes with the furniture you have to be kind of careful because you don't want to get one with bed bugs because i've had friends and stuff to say that they've went and got nice furniture nice deal and then come back and it has like bed bugs and they have to like bomb their house so that's like a scary thing. All right, so we got 75 that we are going to be doing for riding more. All right, so we got 75. All right, so we have 150 and 110 and three fives. And y'all, I made a mistake on riding more I'm tr on countertops, yeah. One, two, three. We got to go back. So 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. Yeah, we have got to go back. I made a mistake. All right, so riding more 75. So here, I should have done 50. I want to do 50 for this. And I have it right there. All right, so we actually need to add another 20. So we got 20, 40, 50. All right, here we go. All right, so there we go with that. All right, we got writing more. Okay, so next we have furniture. The furniture, y'all. Y'all don't be laughing at me. All right. We only have one couch. Well, we have beds. We have um, like a TV stand and stuff because our house that we come in from is like crazy, crunch, crunch, super small. Um, we only could fit one couch in that living room that we had. Now we have a living room and then kind of like a den and then we have a dining room. It's crazy. So like it's, I mean, it's filled up, but it's like not like your normal <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm going to be starting to save for furniture again. And I probably will, like, once I know exactly, like, what furniture we want and what we need. Because when you first move in a house, you don't want to just start buying stuff. You want to kind of, like, uh, like my mother-in-law, she told me, she said, you want to kind of, like, live in it for a little bit. And you want to kind of figure it out and fill it out. And then that way you can see what you need to change or what you want to do. So I am going to be doing this again because that's how I got my only couch that we have in this house. I use this here. Um, I just set a goal and then we ended up getting a couch from Grand Furnishing, I think. And then I was able to save for that. So I'm going to definitely have to do this again. And I am actually going to put my little card in here and I'm going to have to figure it out. But for now, for furniture, we are going to do $40. So we are going to do two 20s. So we got 20, 40. Y'all, I am tearing my sheet up. All right, so, oh my gosh. Y'all, I am really like, look here. I was supposed to do $40. I am really 
I have got to get it together. So we're gonna do $40. Y'all probably like, girl. So let's go back to HVAC real quick. Cause I was like, I got too many 20s left. All right, so 2040. And I'm gonna go through this real quick just to make sure. I told y'all I ain't perfect. <laughs> so we got 50, we got 75, we got 40, and then roof, we're gonna do one $20 bill. Now roof only did $20 because the roof is like brand spanking, spanking. The roof, I'm not only gonna do $20 because the roof is actually pretty much brand spanking new. So we're just gonna do one $20 bill. Um, so that's gonna be a long time before we actually have to actually get a roof because it is like nice and well taken care of. All right, last but not least, we have appliances. We made it, y'all. <laughs> we made it. All right, we have appliances, and we're actually going to be doing $15 for that. Now, what I told you was the appliances are in good condition. They're not like stainless steel. So we should have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, they're not stainless steel, but they're white, but they're still in good condition. They're not like rusted or anything. They work fine. Dishwasher, um, which... I've never had a dishwasher before. So I'm like intimidated to use the dishwasher. So I just been like busting these dishes on my hands because I'm like, mm, should I use it? No. Do I need to use it? No, we don't have any dishes. No. So I'm gonna like use my dishes, um, wash my dishes in the sink for right now. But um, later on, I might, I guess once I get in here and then start getting lazy <laughs> for like cleaning and stuff, um, I probably will, um, maybe try using it but for right now i just wash because at the old house we just wash our dishes on our hands so um yeah some people can't live without the dishwasher but i don't know it's fine all right so that is all that we have for let me scoop this up for our home binder super easy super easy y'all all right so let's go ahead and we should have we don't have anything extra so see i got y'all y'all thought i was gonna use that calculator but I didn't need to use it because we aren't adding anything and subtracting anything. So we have exactly 450 for what we had here, right? All right, so thank you guys so much for chilling with me and watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And then let me know your thoughts on your budget or if you think you might wanna do a home binder. And you don't have to be a new homeowner to have a home binder. You can already have your home and then say, hey, Sounds like a good plan. I need to make one. So that's all that is pretty much. So thank you guys. If you're not already hopped over to my Instagram, it's called a pink cloth life. And my TikTok is a pink cloth life. My website is called pinkcloth.co. And then like I'll always say, what do I say y'all? Until next time guys. Peace.